Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tuko from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So, Lil Wayne has teamed up with 14 different designers for his merchandise line for the Carter 5 release. Now, he also kind of took a note out of Travis Scott's book with doing these 24 hour sales. I think this was a good tactic for him to use because it also helped Travis Scott to get a platinum selling album as well as a number one selling album. Now for all artists out there, I think we need to pay a little bit more attention to the merchandise aspect of it because merchandise has historically been one of the top selling things for artists, one of the most revenue generating parts of the business model when it comes to artists and that's with major labels or independent if you can kind of get enough people who are willing to buy your merchandise. These people who are willing to buy your merchandise, the best thing about it is that you then know who your true fans are. They kind of send signals to society about who they are by wearing your merchandise. But that would be based off of what you stand for as a brand like let's say madonna madonna may represent for some people like i'm a i'm a woman but i'm a little bit rebellious and what does i do or if you were uh led zeppelin that might let people know that you're a little bit into classic rock and you really appreciate classic music classic rock music or blues something of that nature but it's ultimately sending a signal to society about who you are as a person and that's what your merchandise can do for your fans another thing is the 24 hour selling period was something that was really really smart to do because it plays into the scarcity marketing tactic that has worked in advertising for decades if you get a coupon that say this is only available for a limited time that means you're going to try and get in by that limited time or you can only take advantage for that limited time and that scarcity kind of creates this fear of missing out in people and they want to make sure they take advantage of it or else they might miss out on it so this is something that as an independent artist you can really take advantage of because a lot of times the budgets are a lot more limited than major artists and you truly can only have a certain amount of items for a certain amount of time. And you can organically say that is the case instead of trying to orchestrate it by limiting what you actually buy or create as far as your merchandise goes. When you do it, you literally can only afford that. But you can market it in a way that lets people know, hey, this is an exclusive offer. It's only a limited amount of these items and it's only available for a limited amount of time. So I would definitely encourage artists to pay a lot more attention to their merchandise as well as really think of interesting ways you can market your merchandise. Just having it may not be enough. The way you decide to deliver it to the people may be everything and it may make the difference between your success or failure with your merchandise. But in the comment section below, let us know if you even have a merchandise model. Do, are you producing merchandise at the moment? And if you're not, I think you might want to really consider it. Beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe for more videos. Once again, my name is Tuco, and this is Use the News. Sign out.